first. Okay. And, um, all right. Desktop one, I guess that's me. Bring it on the job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to do that. I'm sorry, this computer's new, and I've I've only been on the receiving end. I I've uh, initiated things before, but not on this computer. That's okay. Same old problem. Head while go list. Okay, here we go. Slide. Is it downloading some kind of software? I don't know what it is. Maybe it'll help. Woo, got a thunderstorm coming. We oh. might cut down. Um, okay. Yay, something's happening over here. My <laughs> UPS is showing its oats. I hear it. I think it tried to shut us down a while ago. You see our little, oh my God. Doesn't that look snazzy? Alrighty, well, uh, this is about a piece of software that I became aware of when I was uh, writing the stories with the group. And at first I saw it in writing draft to digital back in May and I didn't have a clue. And then all at once we thought for a moment we're gonna be publishing our book and I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. And I decided to investigate it and I was awed. So let me go to the next page here. See how we do that. Try this. Okay, so let's just take a look at their, um, their, if it will let us and it won't. Okay, then let me see if it'll let me do a video with you. Double click. Well, looks like it's not going to do any of that live. Um, let me try something else here. I have another version of it. Okay. Can you see this screen now? Is it sharing my desktop with you or just the PowerPoint? I can see the PowerPoint and that's it. Okay, let me see if I can. I'm glad this isn't real formal. I would look pretty stupid. <laughs> um, yeah. You can't see it, can you? It's not, it's a, it's a layer on top of this thing here. Let me see, share screen, uh, portion of screen. Let me see if that'll come in there. Just doesn't do what you think it would do. Basic, desktop whiteboard. Okay, let's see where a whiteboard is. Well, I think Candace, I'm just gonna have to give you the PowerPoint and let you look at it at your leisure um, mm -hmm. and, and click on these links and look at the software itself. And then these people kind of interpret it to you. There's a one that's how to format your book for free and I really like that one. This, this is an author that he does, I think, a daily podcast all about being an author. He's an Afro-American guy. He's got a job, maybe working on a degree, writing books left and right. He's just an inspirational guy. And then the how to publish a book. I believe that one is um, one that the draft, one that draft to digital people did or an author that uses it a lot. Mm -hmm. One about how to po publish a poetry book is a young lady, um, could be your age, just looking at her, who she may have a little publishing company herself, but she's what I'd call an indie writer. And so maybe she's looking for business to help you publish your book, but her ideas are real good. Mm -hmm. I just found her today, so it was pretty quick looking it over. Now, the one about getting into libraries. What I like about that video is that a real librarian, he's from the US because draft to digital I think is a British company. But to mm -hmm. overview okay. what it does, 
it will let you feed it your book and it will format it out. Like you'll say, okay, chapter oh. one, chapter two, or point one, point two, point three. And it will just lay it out on paper. I guess if you just put it in this certain order, then it spills out in that order. And you can do a look see and you can proof it. You can okay. make a PDF file. You can um, oh. actually format it into an audio file if it were ready to go. Wow where it could be an audio book or a, mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, ebook. I guess with an audio book, you'd have to have somebody read the book yourself or whomever. Yeah. So it's got all possibilities. It, it, you will be able to publish it at no money on your own. In fact, they give you the profit and they keep a measly, I forget if it's right. 10 or 15%. 10, 15. Yeah. Awesome. And so, so you have to furnish a cover and maybe you just want to whip one out yourself. I know what I, I, know what I want the cover to look like and I could probably do it honestly if okay. I put my mind to it. I bet you could. And it would, to me, those books are most precious, the ones that the author does everything. Um, yeah. But if not, you probably have a friend that would love this opportunity to be published. Uh, I already have somebody who uh, has offered and he does graphic design. Perfect. So I just have to send it to him. And so anyway, if you had any expenses involved with that person, or maybe you promised them 10 books or whatever, if they just right. did it, or fame or fortune. Right, I'll pay them. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, so what I like about this is hardly any publisher cares to talk with somebody unless they've already got something published. Well, this is how you get something published. So to me, yeah. um, just overviewing this, the field not being a real published author that you could count for much on just done some self desktop publishing type things myself just a little recipe book and a little book on a travel in oaxaca um so i just i just think it's marvelous i wish i had a manuscript it is awesome shove into it but you do yeah <laughs> i do that's, that's pretty much that's, what I wanted that's to awesome about. And so the next slide says. Yeah, it's time. I knew it was time. I've been praying about it. And I don't, I just didn't know how. I was like, I don't want to spend any money. Right. I don't want to have a whole bunch of hands on it. Right. I just want it to be it what I did. Fun. And yeah. Oh, yeah so, so this is I, perfect. I see it. If you want, um, if you want to have something you're, you're, Folks have probably been saying, Aunt so and so or Uncle so and so, oh, listen, get your book published. I'll be the first to buy. Well, line them up, <laughs> cash in your chips. And you can have it put on Amazon if you want to. Now, Amazon, people tell me, is a little restricted. That's why this goes out to Barnes and Noble if you desire. I like that because mm. they might invite you over, or you could say, I think it's time Barnes and Noble invited me to be an author at a book signing for them on a Saturday. Right. Whatever. Yeah. That's what I used to do. Yeah. The radio person here in the Valley, I'd say, Davis, I sure would like to be invited to be on your program to talk about the film festival. And he'd say, How about that, Wendy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have to self promote. Yeah, you do. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. Well, today's been a busy day. I talked to a college about starting my master's, and I'm looking, I'm about to fill out my FAFSA tonight. I'm going to master in Homeland Security with a concentration in emergency management. Well, and um, librarians had a Homeland Security master's. He's right now in charge of the instructional, the training program in the library. And he's been head of wow. reference and a bunch of other things. He's he's a um, what does Carl do? Not, is it cartoons? He's an authority on American cartoons, I think. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, he, he's yeah. So I'm excited. And I talked to a recruiter from the Air Force Reserve about next steps towards that. So I'm doing a whole lot. Which is great. I like to do everything at once. I'm kind of like you, <laughs> popcorn. mom. Just do everything right now. Put it all in popcorn. Just wait, pop wait, see wait. what pops. <laughs> yeah, see what pops. See what stops. Well, see what I, burns. I personally find that when I'm my busiest, I produce the most. If I slack off too much and have too much free time, 
I don't do anything but cook. <laughs> and it's still, which is still awesome. But yeah. anyway, it's um, it's nice to be able to experiment. I'm really enjoying these classes. It was it was only two hours this morning, which was good because I had to do this little PowerPoint for you. That's and awesome. I had yeah. some notes that I had written Daniel Garcia Das because he didn't know about draft to digital either, and that we have a, a local publisher, a poet, a very good poet. He's been um our, let's see, our city poet before. It, someday I expect him to be a poet of Texas, a poet laureate of Texas. Yeah. But we, we've had um, two that I know. One's a person that's a little older than I am, and the other person is 10 or 20 years younger than I am. Emmy Parrish, I mentioned her to you some while ago. Yeah. So that's all I, I have to say, Candice. I know Zoom will probably cut us off in a few minutes. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your input. And I'll definitely, I'm more than likely going to do this very soon. I just have to find that thing that connects to my laptop and then I can upload it on their site and get going with that. So that's it, exciting. It, it never hurts to have two of those little gadgets. I'm going to order. I am going to definitely bucks, order. Anyway, I only have one and I, I feel order. like I'm sliding on thin ice. Yeah, it's scary. It makes me mad. So, well, you have a great okay. afternoon. I know it's soon be time to go to work again. Yeah, in the morning I go at starts. five a.m. You can't get me <laughs> up. That's why I'm available sometimes at five a.m. She gets up anywhere between three and five, and she either wants to come in the house or she wants to go out. Oh my goodness! She's trained George to let her out the bedroom window. <laughs> Well, goodbye. Tell George I said, hey, bye-bye. I sure will. Thank he you. said, maybe Candace will come see us again someday. Yeah, maybe. Hey, if I have to go to basic, I'll be in Lakeland. That's Texas. only 238 miles away if it's in San Antonio. Yeah, it is. So, but It's, it's a great place to be. I, I think, and other than being in San Diego, I think that'd be about a good, good place as any. Yeah. Take care. Well, have a good evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.